Hey everybody, it's uh, Andrew and Danny from Visual Ohio, and uh, we're starting out a new format. Uh, we're going to do kind of like a podcast, video cast type uh, format. Um, we thought it would be something interesting to give all of the viewers out there. Um, you know, you read our articles uh, every you know couple of times a month, and we just wanted to um, see how this went. Uh, it's going to be a more articulate format. You know, we're going to be able to actually. You know, express to you in our own words um, the events that we go to. So uh, we'll see how this goes. See how uh, everything works out. Um, so for you this week, we have from the Arnold Classic. William Bonick was uh, placed first in the IFBB um, men's professional bodybuilding. Um, so let's get into that. So, um, Danny, what were your initial thoughts when you first saw... Um, well, we didn't go to the finals. We went and saw um, a lot of the prejudging and preliminaries. Um, and uh, what, what was your initial reaction when you saw William come out? Um, I think I, initially I was extremely impressed and I couldn't help but think of Kai Green. Yeah, really? I mean, yeah. is there... A, I, I thought the same thing, you know, when I was looking at his physique, like a lot of his muscle definition, you know, he had like that, that very like rippled uh, rock-like mm -hmm. um, physique he's got um, in, in some of his areas. Um, I mean, just, I mean, as soon as I saw him, I was kind of like, whoa, I mean, and, and you know, I, I'm not, you know, deep into bodybuilding, the IFBB, but I do know, you know, a lot of the guys and, and he, he just wasn't somebody that was on my initial radar. And when I saw him, I'm kind of like, man, this guy, he seems like he came out of nowhere. But when you go back and you look at some of his stuff, I mean, you know, he placed third uh, in Mr. Olympia in 2018. Um, he was uh, other IFBB uh, things. He did like the Nordic Pro. He placed first in uh, 2015 and 2016. Um, so it's not like he just like came out of nowhere. I mean, he he actually you know has has you know come up in the ranks and 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 he's been doing this for like two decades. So uh, I I guess I gotta look at some of these guys a little deeper. So <laughs> you know next time. Um, so, you know, these guys don't fly under the radar. Yeah, I mean, I just really enjoyed the way he worked the crowd. That's what reminded me of Kai, too. He just, there's a, a lot of great bodybuilders up there, but the ones that, like, entertain the crowd and pull the crowd in because of their personality, and I don't, just the fact that you can tell he enjoys it. I mean, you can even see that in the pictures you got. It's just um, fun to watch somebody that not only is a master at their craft but is obviously enjoying it doing it as well so so even you're saying even beyond the physique of it oh yeah i mean he i mean just like his routine you know like his his you know his posing routine and everything was was, was fantastic so oh yeah yeah so um so yeah props to william for um his first arnold classic win uh, 2018 you know great on him for that um but let's talk about um cedric and um dexter I mean, they play second and third, respectively. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, whenever Dexter Jackson, I mean, he's kind of like one of those people that when you think of IFBB, he's, you know, that's guys that are still working. I mean, he's one of the first people that you think of. Yeah, he's you know, one of the veterans. He's one of the vets. He's been around forever. He's won tons of titles. I mean, he's, you know, I mean, even at, at 48, <laughs> I mean. Can you believe he's 48? I know. Like I mean. In pictures? It's, it's, it's incredible. Amazing. You know, I, I wouldn't have guessed that. Um, but. I mean, as of 2016, the man's won 28 IFBB titles. Yeah. You know, he's been in 18 Mr. Olympias. You know, he's won the Arnold Classic five times. So it's like whenever he shows up, I mean, you I mean, you expect great things. I mean, and he didn't disappoint. I mean, he came out. He looked good. Mm -hmm. um, his routines were on point. Um, I mean, just, I mean, the man's just, I mean, a legend in the sport already. And I, I mean, the way he looked, I think he's got many more years to go. It definitely looks like that way. Yeah. So, so what do you, what do you think of um, Cedric? I love Cedric. You know, we, we fell in love with him years ago <coughs> when we first saw him, you know, in the routines and yeah. when we met him at the, um, the meet well, and greet. Yeah, the person yeah, meet and greet. It's, yeah, it's just... His personality, again, you know, here's a young man that not only is disciplined enough to, to win what he's won and, and accomplish what he's accomplished, but he's also just got such a big heart. You know, he's got a foundation, um, a youth development uh, foundation in Lancaster, South Carolina, 
and he works hard at it and raises money. I mean, even when he goes to some of these competitions, like he just went to Italy, and uh, he always mentions how he loves winning the prize money so that he can put it into his foundation and help those kids. And if you go out to his Facebook page or any of the websites about him, you're going to see links to that. Um, so if you're interested, he's doing some great things with you know kids down there that are underprivileged or may not have any kind of role model so can you imagine coming in to a sports facility as a kid you know i mean some of these kids oh, are three four five years in, old in that kind of condition yeah looking up like, to that and yeah. he's cheering them on i mean it's like the incredible hulk cheering you on <clears throat> i know to do your to do your best so yeah. i mean i can't help but just hope that he comes back and places even higher and wins next year. Yeah. I mean, and even in the pictures, like when he's competing, he's always got that smile, like on almost every oh, single yeah. pose. But the funny thing is, is like when we met him, I think it was last year when we met him when he won. Yeah. Um, he won the Arnold um, 2017 first place. Um, we met him at the uh, the meet and greet, and he was like your buddy. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's, I mean, he was very approachable. I mean, he wanted to talk to people. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just... I mean, the man's personality is, is as big and magnetic as his physique is. I agree. Yeah, if you, you know. go out to his Facebook page, you'll see that he talks with his fans and he interacts with his fans. He's he's all about inspiring and motivating. And, I mean, it shows through in every aspect of what he does. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So, um, you know, when you know you think about, you know, the IFBB, you know, and, and the guys that compete every year, I mean, you see a lot of people that are there, you know, year after year, and then you know, you know, you see some of these guys that come up, you know, like Cedric and 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 Dexter Jackson, and then you know, the, this younger guy William comes in, and then next thing you know, you know, he's taking first place. You know, it's it's great because you know it's going to make the veterans work harder, you know, mm -hmm. because they're going to see like the you know, the younger guys are coming in, um, the younger guys, you know, they're sitting there, you know, competing against people that they probably grew up, you know, seeing as like their idols and. And inspirations yeah. well, of things and, that they wanted to do. And, and you remember, you know, we've followed these guys long enough that we were amazed at their, it's a brotherhood. True, you know, that very this, true. It's one of the reasons I enjoy the Arnold is so many of these strength sports, bodybuilding sports, these competitions, it's all about competing against yourself. Of course, you're competing about each other, but again, these guys are competing against themselves, you know. Right. And that's what I love about it is it. it it allows them to be so such so close and root each other on and inspire each other just like the strong men do. Yeah. It's a brotherhood. And again, I think as a spectator, that comes off the stage. You know, when mm -hmm. they come down in the crowd and they do their pose downs and they they pose with members of the crowd at the finals and Arnold's there Snapchatting them and it's just I don't know, it's just an amazing brotherhood. It's fun, it's entertaining for the spectator to watch and it's just magnificent how all three of them have really just sculpted every single centimeter of their body to the, to their specifications and yeah. it's really amazing yeah that's excellent so yeah i think we did uh, a pretty good summary of uh of the 2018 uh, arnold classic uh, top bodybuilding three. top three yeah definitely so um i think we're going to close with that i don't think we can we can add much more nope 